New at 6 o'clock, the images from the protests in Charlotte are something many will never forget. Beautiful uptown at times look like a war zone with riot gear and fires in the streets. But not all memories will be bad. Some moments make some very proud and gave hope for the future of Charlotte, like this, where a young activist and a major with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department come face to face, and instead of violence, they had a conversation. A conversation that will stick with one of our reporters who braved the chaotic protests for days. Here's Sarah Blake Morgan. Last month, I stood in this intersection, my eyes burning from the tear gas as insults and other things were hurled at our crews. Some chose chaos, but others pushed for peace. And out of the hundreds of people I met that week, there are two I will never forget, a protester and a policeman. Life in Uptown Charlotte moves as if it never happened. One has to look closely to even see the scars left behind. These are streets. Ain't nothing coming through these streets. But the echoes of that September week will forever play through the minds of these two men. My leg is shaking because it's just, when you think about everything, you really like, wow. Curtis Hayes is a 28-year-old activist. Mike Campagna, a major with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department who walked every step with protesters following the Keith Scott shooting. We did six nights, 60 miles is that. Really? Lost about five pounds, so. Wake up! Countless steps, many of them spent just like this. We ain't what you think we are, and we gonna make you see what we are. When they were talking to you, and you made a decision to talk back, they were like, what could they do? You de-escalated that whole situation right there in itself. One month later, we brought these two together to find out how Charlotte moves on. The same men seen right here. This is it's why it's unfortunate. This is why we'll never become a unified country because we always make excuses always on both the sides. Same. Two people who do not always see eye to eye. Tell me, please, Captain, answer your question. You yeah. got outraged at me a couple times. I did. Over those first few <laughs> I days. Did. So, I did. So yeah, I did. Hayes wants a greater focus put on de-escalating situations. If we gonna sit here and pull out our gun a thousand times out of a holster and make sure it's one swift movement, maybe we could focus a little bit more time on whether we really need to use deadly force. By and large, we do de-escalate situations. Can we do better? If we look at situation by situation, yes, I would never say that we are perfect. Campagna would like to see more communication between his officers and the community. I am okay with anger, and outrage and sadness and disgust and frustration, but I have a problem with fear. Like, I didn't get into this business, people will be afraid of me. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's hard to see it here, but in the midst of the emotion, these men shook hands, two very different people, hoping to heal their wounded city. We're all humans at the end of the day, whether we wear a badge or whether we don't. In Charlotte, Sarah Blake Morgan, WBTV on your side.